we are finally in Dubai. We just got to our hotel, which is actually an apartment, which is super cool. I'm gonna show you around the place real quick. First, just look at this marble sink. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go now. Go, go, go. But this past April, we went on an Umrah trip and stopped over in Mecca and Medina before we came over here to Dubai. So make sure you check out those videos if you haven't already. I'll leave links to them in the description below. But I will say that this was a complete twist of fate because when we got there, my mind like flipped. I was not prepared for Dubai. We're at the Dubai Mall. The rest of the group is gonna go up the Burj Khalifa, but we're gonna chill at the mall. We're currently looking at some ice cream. Huh? Okay, never mind. I'm gonna be like the realest person with you. What do you guys think? It was like ten dollars for a little cup like this, and like you know, some people can afford that. Right now, I don't want to afford that. That's the that's the monstrosity, dude. It's like over a hundred dollars, nearly two hundred dollars to go up, skip the line, and go all the way up to the 148th floor, which is the top floor. So we were thinking of getting some like slushy or something because ice cream was not working out and then we found this guy here guess how much it costs for a slushy 25 dirhams 25 dirhams is like 6 USD I think we are currently 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 it's official. I'm hella pooped. It's, I don't even know what time it is. It's mall. The group just got down from the tower. I'm sitting on the ground by myself right now because everybody else is trying to get a SIM card. I lost my phone, so that's not happening for me. Oh, it's pretty. It looks like a flying jellyfish squid thing. <laughs> I'm so tired. It looks like a jellyfish squid. Alright, I was definitely being a brat because I was complaining about the prices everywhere and I was just assuming that we were in Muslim land and I don't know, I was expecting something completely different but I was so tired by the end of that first day that I really did actually fall asleep at the dinner table and slept through the majority of the car ride home and I just couldn't wait to get some rest. Today we're going to Abu Dhabi. Um, I just realized I locked... no. I packed all of my like almost all of my clothes in this thing right here that we got saran wrapped where is it right here at the airport and I don't want to open it up and saran this isn't ours but um yeah I don't have clothes to wear so I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna wear the same clothes Dubai was stunning in its high-rise high-tech atmosphere but I really wasn't there for that and I was seeking out some sort of a different experience some culture and so I realized with all the giddiness I had in this car ride I was going to most enjoy the parts of this trip that were outside of the city <laughs> This masjid was beautiful, that would be an understatement. SubhanAllah, we didn't get to tour the entire grounds of the masjid, but just from the mosaics on the wall and the tile work in the bathroom and the water fountain, SubhanAllah, this place was beautiful. We are in the Grand Masjid and it's a beautiful sight. Um, we made it into Fardoha prayer, so we, uh, the girls joined in on prayer and um, now we're just kind of taking in the sights and waiting for the group to regroup, but yeah. They've got a water drinking station that is so beautiful. We're just gonna fill our water bottle real quick because it's hot outside. Wait, wait, wait. Rohita from the future here. I just want to make note that we only had one bottle of water because water at the hotel wasn't free and a bottle of water costs like five US dollars. I don't, I don't know why. But subhanAllah, my mind was shook and I just went along for the rest of the trip without complaining. Aziz and I went to go take our own photos for a little bit. We came back and found our two husbands over here taking pictures for people and Bilal's taking a picture of me, taking a picture of him, I think. <laughs> 
how in America we have like coconut milk ice cream and that's a specialty thing. Here they have camel milk ice cream. You know? What, what flavor is that? Honey saffron. Honey saffron. I mean, sure. That's what that looks like. I'm gonna try it now. Okay, Bilal, can you videotape me trying it? Pretty yummy? Yeah. It's weird. <laughs> it's kind of weird. It's good. Update, it's good. It's weird. there for the water but subhanAllah this was a good opportunity to see how far Dubai has come in developing its waterfront and its cityscape it's kind of crazy how quickly this all popped up subhanAllah kind of a sign of the times but um, it was interesting watching a panorama and it turned out that the guys <laughs> I can now vouch that the yellow boat experience was actually fun. I wasn't really feeling the tour part, but the ride itself was fast and it was really, really fun and got my adrenaline pumping. It just sucked that I didn't get to be in the boat with Bilal, but to the travelers in the world, please be conscious, gentle, compassionate towards your fellow travelers. Lend a helping hand and do not be demanding of workers and locals. Be understanding. We just got home and I think that we just need a good night's rest because um, tomorrow's a packed day, inshallah. Oh boy, the third day was the funnest. We first went over to the souk, which was a very old market filled with a lot of people trying to sell their stuff. But it was really fun to walk around and to look around and to realize that even though it was a traditional souk, it was still too expensive for my taste. Yeah, it's so cute, this one right here. This one and this one. Oh, and this one's cute too. And so is this one. <laughs> you check the mirror, come here. Hey, do you want to go in with him? He's <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> You look look right up there, it says Mashallah over there. No. Singapore? No. Indonesia? Cambodia. Take free, no problem. Take free, no problem. Take free, no problem. How much? 15 dirham. This one? Yeah. This is two pieces, no kind of. Yeah. Yeah. I have a good feeling I'm not going to buy anything here, but it's really fun to just walk around and look. Um, I will say the shopkeepers are a little bit more aggressive here than they were in Saudi Arabia. But as it gets busier, I feel like they'll stop hassling us a little bit. Haggling? Hassling? Messing with us? I don't know, whatever. After realizing that the souk was basically a maze and sweating buckets to try to get out of it, we were on to our next destination, the desert. And this was the most long-awaited part of the trip for me, so I was so excited, I was so giddy, I couldn't even fall asleep in the car. And if you know me, any car ride longer than 10 minutes will put me to sleep, so that tells you how excited I was. So the guys are getting ready first. I tried to convince Bill to get one. I don't know if he's gonna do it. And these two are over here shopping for random things, like sand. Hi, friend. Are they gonna spit at you? So cute. Are you trying to or a girl? I don't know how. I'm not a guy. <laughs> Just now we were at a like resting stop, I guess. The driver had to let the air out of his uh, wheels so that he could bring us onto the sand and bring us up to the bigger dunes. But here we go, we are headed to the bathroom. Whoa! Wow. Oh, how do you get up here? I know this Protestant city and <laughs> Six times now? He got stuck a lot. Right. Yeah. Like, it's so close to 
being in the desert was like reconnecting with the earth, subhanAllah. It was pieces of sand and clay under my feet, between my toes and in my fingers, and I couldn't explain the feeling if I tried, but it was really recentering to be there, and I would do anything to go back. We just got to a Bedouin camp. I think in there they're, they're cooking the food, and then we're gonna go ride camels over there. This looks ridiculous. We just finished kale rides. This looks so much better. Um, I had to wear sunglasses because the sand is going everywhere in my mouth, in my nose, in my eyes. So, you know, because we're going to and I'm super excited. We're going to do some dinner, inshallah. And I think we're going to have a show. We'll see you. I'm nervous, actually. I'm excited and nervous. People are getting dressed up in thobes with shimags and abayas and niqabs and it's kind of crazy. Look at these people, they, um, they just dressed up in like quote unquote Arab Islamic attire to have their ultimate experience. Welcome to our new camp, Al Khaimah Dazen Camp. Who's talking right now? In five minutes, we're going to start our first dance show, Tanura Show. Thank you. And this is where the night took a little bit of a turn. It was interesting, to say the least, to see our drivers dance and get with it. But I guess I was looking for something a little bit more authentic. And I was hoping to learn from seeing an actual Bedouin camp that wasn't being appropriated or commercialized for the general masses. Hi, baby. Oh my god, desert cats are so cute. Hi. Don't scare too much. Maybe I shouldn't play with you. Hmm? Oh my god, you look so cute. Um, have you had food to eat yet, baby? Hmm? I'm gonna go get dessert. If you wanna chill here, you can chill. Okay. You're right outside our tent. Time for dessert. I. I'm hella full and I didn't finish my plate, so I feel really bad about that. But I'm gonna keep picking at it until we are done, inshallah. This trip allowed me to learn a lot about my personal travel preferences and traveling within a group that I hadn't ever traveled with before. And it was just really fun, honestly, to kind of get out of my comfort zone in multiple ways because I was experiencing things that I would typically not seek out. And I was traveling in a place that was modern but not expected to be modern. And I guess I learned a lot. So inshallah, stay tuned for more. And I hope you enjoyed this. Leave a comment down below and see you soon.